Thank you for speaking to us, Your Excellency. So, today marks the last day of IDEX. Yes. Uh, are you happy with the outcome? I think we've had great feedback from the various visitors to the stand. And I think a company that just within under 15 months from its launch to demonstrate the product we are demonstrating and for clients to be interested already to engage on these, on these uh, solutions, I think already says a lot about how fast we are moving. Well, you showed a lot of products this year and there's really a lot of you can be proud of. So is there anything you are especially proud of for, you, for yourself? Okay, this is a hard, uh, hard question. Mm -hmm. I think we, when we launched Edge, we said we wanted to be a key player in three key domains. Anything to do with autonomous capabilities, and we've launched a whole host of unmanned ground vehicles over there, to our tactical uh, drones, to our uh, unmanned uh, VTOL, all the way to our loitering uh, ammunition. So we've launched a number of solutions there where we're really proud of. At the same time, we've launched a number of very interesting and extremely advanced solutions when it comes to missile uh, solutions. And of course, one of the key highlights was our announcement of the uh, short-range air defense for the CRAM solution, where we've done a teaming agreement with Rheinmetall, where they're offering their radar, their optics, their control, and we're offering our missile as part of the CRAM solution. And last but not least, is our electronic warfare uh, section where we already launched our jammer, IED jammer solution, or our GPS spoofer. And I think these are all very interesting solutions within a very short time. So you mentioned to deal with Rheinmetall. So do you think this could be a real gate opener for other companies to come and work with you? Absolutely. I think what we are saying as Edge is we are an organization that is uh, focused on building advanced solution, advanced niche solutions which means nobody can do everything himself. So at the same time, different players might have different parts of the ecosystem of the solution, and we could offer our solution as part of that, and the same vice versa. And I think Rheinmetall or other discussions that we are announcing is just an example that we are open for business, we want to team up, but at the end of the day, Edge is a company that's offering its own solutions as part of an overall comprehensive required solution. As you said before, you're a pretty young company, but you already uh, ranked uh, within the top 25 companies uh, regarding military equipment and stuff. Yes. So uh, you also say that Edge is not only a defense company, but also is a technology company. So would you like to see Edge uh, next to companies like Google, Facebook and Microsoft as well in the future? I think the DNA that we are trying to build for Edge is we are an advanced technology company that happens to be in the defense mm -hmm. industry. So everything we do in terms of how we operate, how we function, uh, how the company d moves on things or decides on, on its product, or how we cooperate, frankly, with other players, commercial off the shelf, is really a DNA of a technology company that is agile and nimble. So we definitely want to position ourselves as a technology company that happens to be in the defense, not a defense player that has advanced technology. Okay. Um, you, you said in an interview before that you always want to maintain your startup DNA. Yes. So that can be really tough, especially the bigger and the older your company gets. So what are you doing to assure that you can maintain this DNA? I think this DNA uh, always is uh, driven by the culture uh, of the leadership and how it's driven. I've always started companies in this regard. Uh, I've always been in, in different businesses where we've started different ventures. And it's very important to ensure your team feels they have the flexibility to innovate, feel they have the flexibility to try things, feel they have the flexibility to push the limit without fearing that, okay, what's going to happen if they really fail? And I think having that DNA and removing all red tapes or bureaucracy in the structure will maintain that startup mindset. Another thing you also often talked about was attracting global talent to the UAE. So, uh, especially the tech sector is a highly competitive area when it comes to this. So, uh, what are you planning to do to uh, be ahead of your competitors like other tech companies uh, who also are highly searching for talent? See, we are extremely fortunate to being in the UAE where already UAE established itself as a major hub for business people, for example. That's already a known fact. Many business people come here in the UAE to set up. The reason they do so and how it links to talent is it's a safe environment. It's a cosmopolitan city. Uh, it has amazing infrastructure and facilities. So what we are trying to do now is 
having Edge and other entities be anchor players for advanced technology, we are attracting amazing talent from South America to Australia to America to Japan to from all over the world to come here where by coming they have an environment where it's pushing them and supporting them to push the limit on technology but they also at the end of the human beings want to live human beings want to also enjoy their life human beings want their family to have a nice place it's already an amazing environment for that what was missing there wasn't anchor technology players before by having edge and other players I think we're finding amazing talent coming in. Them and their family are really finding that this is a place where it's welcoming everyone from every nationality, from every religion, from every race or vendor in that regard. On the other hand, what has a person to bring with him uh, to be part of your journey? He needs to bring his passion and that he wants to push the limit. He wants to bring, he needs to bring his know-how in, in this regard and be a person that will never accept norm is a person that really wants to push the boundary when it comes to technology and his mindset has to be that impossible is just the beginning okay thank you very much thank for you sir thank you, thank you.